Hey, what's going on guys? Dustin here and welcome back for another Destiny video. In this video, we're going to be talking about everything you need to know from Game Informer's most recent article. You can find the full article in the description box below. Now be warned, this is a long one packed with information, so get your popcorn ready and a comfy seat. Alright guys, we're going to start out with the information on the story first. Game Informer pretty much covered what we already know. Cade, Zavala, and Eris will be the main standouts throughout the entire campaign. And as we know, Bunch has done an awful job of what they call a story, but that is all changed changing with the Taken King. I have complete faith in Bungie, and I'm super excited to see what is in store. Next up, we have the Dreadnought. There is nothing really new here. As we have already figured out, the Dreadnought is absolutely giant. There will be secret areas for us to explore, puzzles for us to solve, and loot for us to dance over. We also know that there will be an exotic weapon that has been dismantled into 50 or so pieces and are scattered across the Dreadnought. There will be a massive quest which requires you to find all of these pieces, thus turning it into what I believe is going to be the Sleeper Simulant. Oh, and I can't forget about not being would use our sparrows. I love sparrows, so that's kind of a bummer. But anyways, there's a new addition coming in the Dreadnought, and it is the Taken War, which is a series of missions that become available to you once you complete the main story missions. Alright, moving on. We have gear and leveling. There was a lot of confusion on this topic, but remember one thing. You absolutely will get to keep your level when the Taken King drops. Also, light still exists, and it does matter. XP is what will level you up, but light is basically how strong or how much power we have in the actual game. Light now ties not into only armor, but weapons, class items, and your ghost shells. Our light will determine how combat ready we are. For example, there will be a recommended light level that you will see when you click on a mission. Now with light, the best armor will still have the most light, so does this really fix the problem of being forced into wearing and equipping the same armor to compete at the highest level? I'm not sure. We will have to see when the expansion fully drops. Oh, and it's also worth mentioning that more missions will open up once you reach the level cap of 40. Alrighty guys, now let's talk about Banshee, the tower's gunsmith, and Xur, the people's tentacle face down. Asshole. Banshee will be getting an upgrade in the Taken King. The Exo Gunsmith will now have his own reputation that can be leveled up by completing challenges with the prototype weapons that he gives us. Zur will also have a new item called the Three of Coin. This increases the exotic drop rate from the next boss you annihilate. This is a pretty sweet idea, though it is very courageous to buy something pending on RNGesus. Alright you guys, next up we have Strikes. We have a couple of new details concerning the Strikes, one of which is the PlayStation exclusive Echo Chamber. You will be battling the restorative mind which is a Vex Hydra. This strike will have some raid features in it, such as running between pillars with an art core to make the boss vulnerable. Then we will have the Sunless Cell, which will be available to us Xbox players as well as PlayStation players. This strike sounds particularly interesting because in this boss fight, you'll be going head to head with a horrifying hive abomination in complete darkness. Alright, lastly on strikes, we have the new strike playlists. First, we have Vanguard Legacy, which is the old strikes that you can play through, and then we have Vanguard Marmoset, which are strikes specifically pulled from from the Taken King. Okay, pushing forward, we have the Crucible. Game Informer did not delve deep into this, but I'm sure they will in the coming weeks before the Taken King. They really just talked about the different game modes they enjoyed, such as Mayhem, which is a game type where your super grenades and etc. are quickly regenerated. But what is really exciting are the bounties. Bounties will now cover specific playlists such as Iron Banner, Trials, and more. Seems pretty awesome to me. Alright, now for the most exciting part, the Raid King's Fall. Well, it's not too exciting. Bungie loves to keep their secrets, but Luke Smith is is confident that this will be objectively and emphatically their biggest raid yet. This is extremely exciting. I'm really wanting to see the King's Fall be a mix of the mechanics from Vault of Glass and the eeriness from Crota. That would be super awesome. Now to bring this video to a close. This was a ton of information to spit out, but I hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more, and as always, if you like this, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more daily Destiny content. I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Just slow me down. You raise your thoughts.